You can just say that so easily? You might try to take David's life again? I'm not saying I want to try to kill him again, Mom. But the truth is, I don't know what I'm going to do from one minute to the next, much less a, a day or even a month from now. Well, what can I do to help you? There's nothing you can do. Kendall, I am angry too. I want to hit back just as hard. But you can't just give in to those impulses. You can't act on those impulses. I thought in that moment it was the right thing to do. I, I felt like it was the answer. There is only one answer, honey. And then it's right in front of you. It's your children. Uh, I have something for you. Come on, you don't have to pay me. This is my mistake. Christmas present. Early. <laughs> you sure? I mean... Your name is on it. Open it already. <laughs> I was getting tired of you being too cool for a proper winter coat. Wow, this is this is great. I know. <laughs> Perfect fit. <laughs> I, I I don't know what to say. I'll well, just say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And thank you. Really. So, if you're all set, I actually I have somewhere to be. Oh, yeah, I'm cool. Okay. Well, you know, warm now. But, <laughs> yeah, I mean, thank you. It's it, This is great. Hey, is he gone? I want to ask you about these presents I got for the boys. Nope, still here. Hi. Hi. So, this is the secret love nest? Yeah. Not as much fun as you would think, especially the secret part. Ah, oh, what's nice? Thanks. So, Jair's um, in some meetings, and tomorrow's Christmas tree shopping. That'll be fun. Yeah, no, not with me. With Marissa and AJ. Oh, they're still spending a lot of time together? Yep. I know he's just trying to get her to drop the custody suit, but I gotta tell you, I'm getting really sick of the X Factor. I can relate. Thanks. No, I mean, I can relate. Jake's ex-wife just popped into town. No. Yeah. Carolyn's here? Yes. The one who ran off with a hot doctor and broke his heart? This one. Why is she here? Well, Kara says that she's here to try and convince Jake into rejoining Doctors Without Borders. Huh. Do you think there's more to it? I don't know. Wow. Have you talked to her? Well, that's the weirdness. I was at Crystal's. She knew exactly who I was. We had a little chat. She never told me who she was. Oh, that's not good. How did I know you were going to say that? Of course you said no, right? Of course I said no. I have a wife and child here. Yeah, yeah but let's be honest, all right? I'm, I'm sure that maybe there was a, a little piece of you, you know, just for a second when she was asking, you know, you were thinking well, maybe... Well, there's a little piece of me. Yes, I mean, I loved that part of my life. I loved Doctors Without Borders. And Kara. Well, yes, and Kara, yes. You know, seeing her just... All these memories keep coming back... I'll give you an example. My, my kid? Yeah. I see my kid, I put it down, and I remember that's the kid that Kara gave me. I'm eating pie, I'm eating apple pie, and then I remember that was our Christmas dinner once, you know, with the gunfire. How romantic. Actually, and I'm, not, I'm not wanting these memories to come back. I want to give you a bag for tonight, but I don't have one. It's not my fault, though. They, 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 they just keep coming, and the whole thing is driving me crazy. It's driving me crazy. I mean, I love Kara. Amanda, and I'm over Kara. I'm over her. Are you sure? I don't need this in my life. I don't need it. Well, I don't need it. Exactly. That. So let's talk about the obvious, okay? If you're not interested in DWB or Kara, is there any reason she should be hanging around here? No, no. And she said it. She said she's in town 
for two days and then it was business. So it's business. That's business. Thank you. Oh! Just the man I wanted to see. It's not the best idea for you to be here. Hey, hey, I brought you food. Yeah, but there's a commissary. Yeah, but you know what? You forget to eat when you're working. And the commissary doesn't have carnitas. Carnitas? Extra spicy. Ay, ay, ay. Or chips. This is so not fair. That's right. Salsa Indian. Are you still? Are you not? I see beans. Does that look like they're done to you? Is this a trick question? No, because Castillo said that they're done. Done. But that, I mean, they're both here at the same time. It's not a coincidence. You know, not to mention the fact that they've got adjacent rooms with the yacht clubs. I mean, does that sound like a coincidence? Oh, good, so they, they, they are a couple. That's... She's here uh, in a professional capacity. I got nothing to worry about. Uh, well, if it's all the same to you, I think I'm still going to do a little snipping around. Let's see know, what I can dig up. Just need to, keep to an eye do on that. Camp. You I'm, don't. I'm not doing it for you. I mean, of course, I'm doing it for you, but I'm also doing it for me, you know? I have a lot of questions, not enough answers. Okay, so Kara's here, and this Griffin guy's here. Yeah. Are they here together? I don't know. Okay, well, you got to find out. Because the last thing you need is this Kara worming her way back into Jake's life. So you think I should be worried? No, no. I know Jake loves you so much. I'm just saying, don't take any chances. Are you worried about JR and Marissa? I mean, how much time he's spending with her? No. <laughs> no, of course not. JR is with me now. You, you just, you can never be too careful. Where'd you learn so much about computers? I was at boarding school. All the kids went off to your parents for the holidays, and so I had the whole place to myself. I was into computers, so taught myself, you know, pretty much everything. Wow. Paid off. Yeah, I should uh, get going. It's a nice coat. Yeah, um, Bianca gave it to me for Christmas. Oh. Yeah. When I first came to town, I wasn't planning on sticking around this long. You know, she must have noticed the icicles hanging off my nose. Those cane girls. They always know exactly what to give, don't they? I know you need to deal with your grief in your own way. But you have two beautiful little boys. And I would hate to see you end up in a jail cell simply because you acted impulsively. Mama, I don't want to see you in jail either. That's not going to happen. Ooh, cold out there. Hi. Hi. Hi, hi. Yeah, your office uh, told me you might be here. Am I interrupting anything? Is everything okay? Oh, you... Uh, we're fine. We're just fine. Hey. Hi. You ready? For what? Christmas tree shopping. Miranda and Gabs are in the car. Oh, you know what, Binks? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to go. Spike has a stuffy nose. So you know what? You, you and the girls go ahead. Well, are you sure? Yeah, go and, and have fun. Hey. Bye. Bye. Hi. Thanks for coming. I want to apologize. I do too. It's just that I I think 
the green light is just always going to be an issue. And now there's there's just so much going on. I know. Are you sure you don't want to tell me what was going on between you and Kendall? Oh, that was nothing to worry about. Toy shopping for Kendall's kids? Yeah. But I, I don't know what you give a kid who's just lost his father. But what do you want? He wants his dad. I gotta go. Have uh, Bianca call me if there's any other problems with the computer. What's, what's going on? This may not be a war zone. There may not be bullets or rebels, but if you want excitement, I will give you all the excitement you can handle. Yeah? I can see that. Mm -hmm. Tell you the truth, this is actually much harder than I thought it would be. Yeah, because it's about a hell of a lot more than trying to recruit Jake for Doctors Without Borders. But you like having me around, right? As long as you keep bringing me carnitas. So I'm guessing that would be a yes. Te quiero. Come here. Oh. Mm.